Hello and welcome viewers! If you know me and my channel, I specialize in Sonic and Sega content. So today we are going to be looking at the Sonic Rumors Iceberg over on IcebergCharts.com. This chart here isn't in any order of obscurity. It is from platform. For example, it will go from Sega Genesis all the way to the PS4 and so on. Also, this chart is color-coded with three colors. Green being confirmed true, red being false, and yellow is made true. Guessed by some mods or official ports and remakes and whatnot. Anyways, with that out of the way, let us begin. Unlocking Firearms, Sonic 1. Do I really have to explain this one? I mean, there was never an attempt for guns to be used in the Sonic franchise. Except for that one time in 2005, but we don't mention that. Literally tried to research this one with no luck finding any article from the early 90s. All I kept getting was images of Sonic holding a gun, Sonic with gun mods. Pancaked Sonic, Sonic 2. This one I am assuming based on the title is that Sonic, when getting crushed, he turns into a pancake, kind of like Looney Tunes or Crash Bandicoot. But the fact is that Sonic 2 was using the same sprites and done in a year from Sonic 1, so a lot of stuff is reworked sprites and stuff and new mechanics, but overall the death animations still remain the same. Secret Zone, Sonic 2. Now, the most infamous hidden zone in this game is Hidden Palace Zone. Originally, this was going to be a level included, but but due to the devs not really liking it, it was scrapped. I also think due to time management myself, but that is just personal opinion. But nonetheless, the level was accessible in the debug menus and level select menus. And then Christian Whitehead somehow completed the level and added it to the Mystic Caves Act 2 level. Michael Jackson's involvement, Sonic 3. Now this was a rumor for a long time after the release of Sonic 3 that Michael Jackson worked on the music. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, he or shall I say, he he and his record company worked together for the soundtrack of Sonic 3. Sega even had a game based on Michael Jackson and had cameos in Space Channel. Oh god, look how ugly the model is. Two of the biggest influences that you can hear is Carnival Night Zone compared to Jam. <laughs> And also the end credits theme compared to Stranger in Moscow. Many years after the game's release, Sega has denied any involvement with Michael Jackson and has since went and removed and changed tracks in re-releases and ports. Seems kind of sussy to me. Knuckles in Sonic 1 With the release of Sonic and Knuckles with the extra cartridge as the second portion of the game, it is possible to use and play as Knuckles in Sonic 2, a entire game before Knuckles was even made. How? I don't know, wizardry. Anyways, if you use the Knuckles cart on Sonic Sonic 1. It just has Blue Spheres games, but until a ROM of Sonic 1 was made dubbed Knuckles the Echidna in Sonic the Hedgehog, created by Stealth on Sonic Retro, by the way. But you can also play Sonic Origins, it has the ability to do that too. So yeah, it was rumored to be a feature at one time to actually being one, so yeah. On to the next one. Sonic being playable in Echo the Dolphin slash Streets of Rage. Okay, this may have been also another Mandela effect or some kind of weird advertising, because first off, there is no way that they are playable. But let me explain these games. First, Echo the Dolphin is a 2D side-scroller adventure game where you take control of a dolphin to save the ocean from aliens and stuff. It does get kind of dark in this game. Well, there is many theories to this rumor to have spread on this. There is an Archie character named Echo the Dolphin, and then there is Echo the Dolphin, the game series. I would easily get them confused, but also Echo has appeared in the Sonic comic as well. And I don't know, maybe people thought of this? Now for Streets of Rage. The game is a beat-em-up with high paced action all around, but the rumor is you can play as Sonic in this game. Now since it wasn't a real feature, there has been many great fan recreations of it, even featuring Hatsune Miku, god bless, until Sonic got added to Smash Brothers. Funny how it comes all around full circle. Tails in Sonic 1. Once again going off to the Knuckles stuff, Tails was also playable in Sonic 1, either by porting it over or remastering it. Sonic Origins. Unlocking Hyper Tails slash Metal Sonic slash Robotnik Blue Spheres. So this is one about the unlockables from Blue Spheres. After getting all of the Chaos Emeralds, well it is rumored that if you complete the Blue Spheres, 
you can somehow unlock Hyper Tails. But Hyper Tails, from what I have seen, isn't in this game, and Metal Sonic is rumored to be an unlockable alongside Robotnik. Which, let me tell you, there is an infinite amount of Blue Spheres stages. And if you think you can beat them all, then you are crazy. It is estimated to take 400 years to finish. Yeah, good luck with that. On to the next one. Beating the AI-1 robot, Sonic 3. This I cannot find any information on whatsoever. When I researched this, it just gave me the ending of the game, which is Doomsday Zone. If you didn't know, you fight Robotnik's huge robot. Maybe the robot is his name? I don't know, even if you get the hypersonic ending, which is just zooming around and letting missiles hit Robotnik. That's how I beat it anyways. Then the game gets the happy ending. Secret level select menu, Sonic 3D Blast. Sonic 3D Blast is one of those games that is pretty okay for the time, but looking at it now is pretty boring. But when people were interested in this game, there was rumored to be a secret level select screen. Well, it really was in the game. You may be thinking, oh, it was a secret code or something. No, Nope, not at all. You had to hit and shake the cartridge in order to get it to trigger. It was done so executives, when testing it, they wouldn't see it as a bug and stuff. If you want to watch this video by Game Hut, he is a developer who originally worked on Sonic 3D Blast. He can explain it way better than I could. Sega Dreamcast, Sonic & Knuckles Enhancement. The Sonic & Knuckles Enhancement was gonna be basically Sonic 3, but ported over to the Dreamcast. Yeah, but it got scrapped because Sonic Adventure was in development for the time. Sonic Team, splitting into several teams. Ah yes, the infamous Sonic Team split. Now if you didn't know, for Sonic Adventure 2, the team branched off and partially a US team building it and they named it Sonic Team USA. This lasted all the way up until 2008. RIP Company. Their last game wasn't even a Sonic game, it was Night's Journey of Dreams. Sonic 3 Dreamcast port. Literally nothing came up besides Sonic Adventure 1 stuff. I am assuming this was gonna be, like said, Sonic 3 ported to the Dreamcast. How well that would have been you tell me. Although Sonic 1 was included in a pack bundle released on Dreamcast called Smash Pack Volume 1. Branching Storylines, SA2. You may be thinking to yourself, SA2 has a branch storyline? <laughs> well, in this case, it is not a hero, dark, and last chapters of the story you may be thinking. This is kind of like the idea of Shadow the Hedgehog. Complete a level one way and you will get different outcomes. So since this was clearly not fleshed out and not implemented, it still would have been cool to see Tempted. That means you'd have to play the game many times to get different endings. Who knows, maybe you could have saved Maria or had the world to end and so on. Shadow and Rouge were planned as early as April 2000. Shadow and Rouge, some of the biggest anti-heroes and two-thirds of the Team Dark Collective. Originally they had some slight changes, not much besides Shadow. Originally when coming up with Sonic Adventure 2, they wanted to go bigger and better. Originally he was going to have a missing eye and whatnot and his name was going to be Terios. Imagine how weird that would have been. Which in a way he was named from the verb Terasu which means to compare with or to shine on. And Rouge came from originally being named Nails the Bat and she was still a thief like originally. Just a weird choice. Rouge sounds a lot more, I don't know, James Bond-esque? If you ask me, Rouge sounds sexier and classy and more like a spy thief's name. Tails wouldn't be featured, SA2. This is a weird one to search for. The early development of Sonic Adventure 2 was scattered around based on my research. This is a rumor claiming that Tails wasn't originally going to be in SA2, but bruh. They took down a giant water monster in the first one, of course he's going to be in this one. They did restrict him down to a mech but this is mostly false, and if it is true, mostly was because the gameplay they thought wasn't good enough. I don't know, but what is a good story without good supporting characters? Metal Sonic would be the villain, SA2. Purely speculation, this one. Zero information comes up besides Sonic Heroes. I believe he wasn't intended for this game, since it spans back to Robotnik's grandfather's creations, which at this point was lore that was never ever seen before. Sonic would be kidnapped, SA2. I believe if this was, it was for a concept or an idea, but if this was a main plot driver that Sonic was kidnapped, then we would not have Sonic to really play as. Besides a few scenes where Sonic is captured, they only appear in cutscenes and he's always broken out. Genesis, GG, and arcade characters 
Wars SA2. This is either rumored for multiplayer or later ports of the game, and yet there is still no evidence any Genesis, Game Gear, or arcade characters appear, so sadly this one is fake. Fake Chow Forms slash Types SA2. I swear in the Dreamcast era and the rise of the internet forums, a lot of people had a lot of free time to come up with false rumors. Anyways, this is about fake Chow Types and Forms. Cannot really find much, but it probably was insane to hear about it and try to attempt. Chow Cookie SA2. Okay, so when you go to the shops in Sonic Adventure, you can buy them little snacks and stuff, mostly fruit to help them level up easier. The cookie, I assume, is a form of food you can give, and maybe it will level up your child to max stats? I, I don't know. 10th Anniversary Sonic game. Though not officially on this one, there wasn't a special 10th Anniversary game brought out like Generations where Sonic acknowledges his birthday and stuff, but there was Sonic Adventure 2 and a special Sonic Adventure 2 10th Anniversary birthday kit thing. It came with a CD with tracks from 10 years of Sonic and also cool art, and bundled with it came Sonic Adventure 2. Sega and Nintendo, the Cosmo Cube. Okay, this one comes from an article in 2000 written by Matt Lake, but apparently this is an early leak of an RPG game that is gonna release cross-platform between the GameCube and the Dreamcast, both using both sides of the mascots. It was gonna feature an all-star cast, two new characters from each as well. Sega's is called Ages and Nintendo's is called O. Denenton, which is just Nintendo spelled backwards if you didn't know. Clearly this was not real, mostly because they were two separate businesses. Well, sure now Sega is on everything, but that is because they stopped making consoles and decided to be a publishing company. Yeah, it was going to be like a RPG game where you could play as Mario, Sonic, and all that. I think Nintendo's is going to be called the uh, Nintendo Ages or something. <laughs> It would have been cool if it did come out. Sonic Adventure 3. Here we go. The holy grail of rumors. And it will most likely appear on this list again. Mostly since it is the most anticipated Sonic sequel out there. Besides some people on Twitter wanting Sonic Unleashed game or whatever. PS2 slash GameCube slash Xbox. Finally, we're on tier 3. Metal Sonic playable in Sonic Heroes. As this title states, Metal Sonic playable in Sonic Heroes. So as I could find, Metal Sonic is not in the original release of the game. Metal Sonic was originally planned to be a part of the roster according to a tweet by Shiro Meikawa. Shadow was also going to be missing from the game initially, all due to Shadow being presumed dead. Oh, but you can't kill what is sexy, baby! The original lineup was going to be Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, and then the next team, Amy, Cream, and Rouge, and then the next team, Chaos, E-102, and Big, and then SBO, Charmy, and Vector, Fang, Bean, and Bark, Metal Sonic, Ray, and Mighty. Rouge working with Team Rose is pretty weird, and Chaos with Gamma? Didn't Gamma die? How would that work? This version luckily got scrapped and we got the Sonic Heroes we got today. Team Metal, again. This must be Team Metal used in Sonic Heroes, but we know that is untrue due to the fact we have a full development history of Heroes. But there is a Team Metal, but it only appears in the Archie comics. I swear, whatever ideas Sega and Sonic Team scrap, they send over to the comic writers. Anyways, the team is comprised of Metal Sonic, Metal Tails, and Metal Amy. So, yeah, not true in game canon, but true in comic canon. Maria's death scene was more graphic. Oh yes, finally we get to talk about the edgy hedgy. Shadow the Hedgehog. Now if you don't know what the game is like, I reviewed it back on the channel so check it out and then come back here. Anyways, this game it shows a scene of Maria getting invaded on the Ark by a bunch of GUN type men and they shoot Maria and it flashes white back to present day. Huge Mandela effect is that the scene was more graphic or maybe people confuse this from Sonic Adventure 2 or even the anime of Sonic X, which the Sonic X storyline of it is deep. There are at least three different scenes on our death. Even maybe they are talking about the Uncensored Games prologue. It has a little bit of extended footage of Maria falling backwards in slow motion. I I and Mario's inclusion, Sonic Riders. Now for this one, I I is in Sonic Riders, but Mario isn't in the game. I was searching just in case it was an exclusivity deal with Nintendo, but to no luck. But hey, here is a DeviantArt photo of him by not me, I swear. Game Boy Advanced, Sonic and Shadow. This one is from 2002. A rumor that new games for the GBA were going to be made following the success of Sonic Advance. So this one was speculated to be a 2D reimagining of Sonic Adventure 2 or maybe just a cut down version. Chow Racing. This one was also rumored as well and well it was probably going to be a Mario Kart type deal or 
Maybe just the Chow Garden stuff, maybe. Sonic Advance voice replacement. This one is a doozy. It is weird when it happened. Okay, so Ryan Drummond was the voice of Sonic from Sonic Adventure all the way to Sonic Advance 3. But when doing the Sonic X show, they were going to get Ryan to reprise his role as Sonic for the English dub, but 4Kids thought it would be easier to hire just in-studio actors, and thus, the role was given to Jason Griffith. And Ryan was let go and replaced by Griffith, because Sonic Team and Sega wanted his voice to be canon across all media. Funny enough, for the development of Sonic Generations, they were gonna have a third Sonic called Dreamcast Sonic, and yeah, Ryan Drummond declined the role. Xbox 360. Rainbow Gem from Demo Unlockable. Sonic 06. So the Rainbow Gem was gonna be an unlockable to transform Sonic into Super Sonic. This idea was somehow coded but not implemented. As you can see from the footage, it does trigger an animation, but that's about it. The only way to get this is by editing the Rainbow Gem into a save file or pressing the left bumper with debug mode. Yeah, so on to the next one. New Sega Superstars game. Now this one is harder to search for since there is technically three games in the Superstar series, so I don't know which one it is referring to, but if it is a new one based off the original, then I'm glad it never came out because the original was just garbage. Nintendo Wii. Sonic being playable. Super Mario Galaxy 2. This one is not true, but got featured in a UK magazine. Don't you guys have any better things to do over there? Sonic is not playable in Mario Galaxy 2. Would be cool if he was, but sadly he isn't. Third game, Sonic Storybook series. There isn't much on this, but it is rumored even by a Sega representative, saying that the first two were only two out of a trilogy. That being said, maybe it was scrapped later on, who knows? Not much info on it has released, and it has been over 10 years since the sequel came out, so I don't think we're gonna get anything. Nintendo DS, unnamed Tales related game. Could not find anything besides Tales Adventure, which was a Game Gear game re-released and ported over to the 3DS, which I own by the way. Why? I have no clue. The game is weird, but besides all that, I found zero in-development article showing a Tails DS game. Sonic Generations PS Vita slash Wii U port. Now, I know this says PS Vita port, but I believe they mean PSP port of the game. I mean, here's all the info we have seen of the original data disc of Sonic Generations on PSP. And originally, it was called Sonic Anniversary. All there really was was the assets used on a PSP dev kit for the game. No actual playable alpha or anything, but I have heard it would have played a lot like the 3DS version, but as far as it goes on PS Vita, there was no mention of it. Now for the Wii U port. There was no evidence I could find while researching, so yeah, it may have not been there due to the Wii U releasing a whole year after the initial launch of the game. Sonic Dimensions. Not much found on this besides Sonic LEGO Dimensions levels and a fan-made game called Sonic Dimensions, and this fan-made box art, but yeah, that's all. Leaked SA3 domains. This rumor I could say is sort of true, but also not true, because on the internet anyone can buy a domain and sell them off to people who want to buy them for a higher price. But this rumor spans as far back from when Sonic Generations released. But yeah, there was somehow leaked domains, but take those with a grain of salt, okay? Sonic Excursion. Okay, so this one is basically rumored to be the next game after Generations. It was gonna feature Sonic, Tails, Dr. Eggman, Knuckles, and Amy Rose. And brand new levels. One called Shattered Heights. It was gonna look like New York and have have Sonic and Tails crashing through buildings as people looked in horror. Although now that I think about it, there's a level in Sonic Forces called Sunset Heights. And emblems make a return. I don't know about you, but it sounds cool. But sadly, it was not a real leak. Listen, many years when games are said to be in development, the hackers and leakers say what it is reportedly in-game, but how in-game development works, that when a game is finally built and good enough with the budget, then they will show off trailers and gameplay footage. This may have been ideas from Sonic Team, but I doubt. Sonic Blue Thunder. On this one, another title to be released after Generations, and you would control a new hedgehog character named Static and have a robot wolf companion that can turn into a motorcycle and you'll be playing as a teenage Sonic clone. <laughs> it sounds weird already. Also, Knuckles, Rouge, and Eggman will have teenage clones. Knuckles' clone named Slash and Rouge's clone is named Debra, and Chow Garden set to make a return. Yeah, sounds like a fan fiction to me. <laughs> Sonic Mach 2. This was already rumored to be in development because the German voice actor for Orbot listed the game to his portfolio. Now, most of the time that is how games get leaked, but they often title it as a project. Maybe Sonic Mach 2 was a project name and nothing more, but according to Azuka, it is not developed by Sonic Team. So who then? Sonic Heroes Remake. 
Besides fan speculations, not much is found deep on this one. A cool Sonic Heroes remake would have been cool, especially fighting the last boss with complete fidelity and just updated visuals. Other than Reddit posts saying it is being worked on alongside Sonic Forces, just trust me bro, not much is here. <laughs> Sonic Rift. Sonic Rift is rumored to be the game after Forces, which after looking up is also a comic or a fan comic? I don't know, but people are wild on these Sonic names, I swear. Sonic Mania 2. Sonic Mania 2, rumored to be a sequel to Sonic Mania, the smash hit Sonic game of 2017. I don't know, how many Sonic levels can you remix to make a new game out of it? Sonic 5. Besides seeing bad fan art, this is supposedly a sequel to the Sonic 4 game we got back in the 2010s. That looks like a Flash game. Look at it, does it look like one? Sonic Rush Infinity, Nintendo Switch. I'm assuming that this is supposed to be the infamous Zippo leak we got back in 2020-ish. I remember when they stated that there will be a new 2D game like Rush, so I'm assuming that this entry is talking about that. Since he is somewhat true, I'm not ruling it out, but most rumors we have seen are completely false. Sonic Adventure Remake claims. That, I said it was gonna pop up again. This one has been floating all around since the release of the first two games. Everyone's favorite games in the series, if you wanna know, I really loved the first game. But that is just because I like the better controls. Two years ago, we got news that Sega canceled a remake version of Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. It was going to be developed by Sega Shanghai and, and set release for 2015. But because of Sega and them cutting costs and the backlash from Rise of Lyric, they were afraid to outsource the IP. So instead, they just scrapped it. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the Sonic Rumors Iceberg. Thank you so much for watching. You know, check out the original post. It'll be linked in the description so you can check out the iceberg for yourself. Thank you guys so much for hitting 452 subscribers. I know it might not sound like a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yay. I know it don't sound like a lot, but I've had this channel for 10 years, but I've never really done anything with it. But yeah, thanks for such amazing support, you know? Yeah, links to all my stuff in the description. So yeah, bye-bye. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.